Today, I really just want to see how many millions of dollars we can make by launching things into space. And that's a pretty good start. And we get a second pinata, and we get a huge sale on Gumdolf. And when we get a sale that's that good, we might as well take advantage. $3.5 million have to spend on more top speed before we even get started. Now it's just a matter of not screwing anything up along the way. We get a guaranteed uh, critical hit on him, and off we go. 250 at launch. Our maximum speed now is 240, and we're definitely making pretty good speed on this one, coming through the wall at 235. Uh, we're coming up to the next wall, we're going 230 currently. For a second there, we hit almost 300 for I think the first time, and I've never even seen this before. I don't know what's happening, but I'll take it. We're going 290 there, so we're off to a really good start today. Coming up to that final wall, we're going 166 currently, and it's been worse, but it's been better. That's a new record already. 12,800 meters for almost $8 million. And that really goes to show you how expensive the upgrades are getting because we can afford two of them. So let's take retain more speed when landing on gummy bears because we tend to annihilate a lot of those. Then probably actually police control. Lose less speed when getting trapped by cops. That tends to happen a lot in that later area. Then we'll just go Beaster Bunny. I've still got lots of boosters, so this run should be potentially better considering we're going to start with a KO, which is going to launch her at 250. And since we have more upgrades than ever before, we should be able to retain our speed better, depending on our luck. Still going strong, at least until we hit the cop, but we'll continue to pick up our speed as best we can. We're busting through the final wall at 84. Managing to pick up just a little bit of speed here. Uh, we do have the little pepper thing to get us going again once we do lose our momentum, so if we get into the wall, we'll be in decent shape. I just want to hit speeds that are too quick to even see. Is that too much to ask? But maybe I should also be focusing on money for now over anything. Because I've been trying to go for distance, but if I could be eking out some more money along the way, that's probably wiser. It would also help to get more power-ups towards this end of things. I get so close to the wall and lose all my speed. But we're going to hit it at probably about... We're going to hit it really high up at this rate. Alright, we're going to do what we can to hit everything possible. To we didn't even bust into the wall. Till that happened. But our beautiful pinata is hopefully full of money. We're going to save 12.7 million on the speedometer. Plus we got peso pals. That's definitely going to be good for our wallet. 3.2 million for that one. Which very sadly isn't enough to buy the speedometer. Aww. But we can buy deal more damage to opponents. And that's never a bad thing because it's just fun to hurt things. Three quarters of his health in one shot. The beginnings always feel so optimistic because we carry so much speed so easily. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I hit the wall at a weird angle. I didn't even make it through that wall. Made it into the clouds that time so that put our speed back up. I think that's what we want to be going for more of. Because we went from going like 100 to 240. All because we made it out of orbit. Basically we just need more bounce. This is maybe a good one to find right before the wall, because if we time this right, kinda wish I got that pinata, but it's gonna hit us into the wall. I thought it would be quicker than that. That's a little better, thanks to our pals, 5.5 million. Luckily our spit over is still on sale, so our 17 million dollar upgrade we can buy for 4.2. And then Velena Ice is gonna get an upgrade too, because that's obviously very important to me. And then we just keep launching things at other things until we have enough money to get what we want. Knockout. We should actually be going very quick. Our max speed is 275 now, which is going to be fun. So we're through the first wall at 240, which is a speed that I wasn't even able to hit before today. So all we need is just a little bit of luck and it will keep our speed up all the way through to the end. Uh, did I make it into the clouds? I did. Oh, we lost a lot of speed there somewhere though. And we made it into the clouds a second time and we got a pinata, but that put our speed back up to about 230. Again, there's something very satisfying about just cruising along, smashing into the gummy bears. Then we hit three cops in a row because we didn't have any more body slam left, so that definitely killed our speed. So we're pretty much just going to coast to a gentle stop right before the wall. Wait, there may be hope yet. We might at least make it to the wall at this pace. And we're going to try and balloon into the wall, but this didn't really work out last time as well as I thought it might. So <laughs> we're just going to obliterate ourselves against the wall again. The pinata gave me a great deal on Honey Potter. I'm not sure if I care, but I might take that because I remember it was a very expensive upgrade to begin with. If I can even afford it which I can't. I think I'm going to upgrade Lieutenant Jelly Boom because that's really all I can afford. So I got a new record this time and we can see what's on the other side of the wall, but we can't get there yet. 
New record, by the way, worth a modest 1.7 million. So that run ended up being worth $6 million somehow. So I'm going to buy Honey Potter while we can afford it. Which is great because the next upgrade is 100 million and I think I've only hit this thing once. Though I did just get it again in the very next run, so that's adding up to a lot of speed and gummies. I need more of those. I get it now. Those are very handy. And we're in the clouds. The bus through the wall coming out at 266. Pretty quick. Okay, we came through the final wall, what we'll call the final wall, at about 200. And I don't know if I've ever come through that quick. So that's a good sign. Coming up to the final wall, we're still going over 200. So if we hit with just a little bit more speed, we might actually bust all the way through it. If we get a lucky trajectory through the wall. But we'll find out very, very soon. 250. Well, we touched the wall again. We definitely need more Honey Potter. That was worth $6 million. So we're going to buy Jelly Roger. Adorable name, by the way. The next run was strangely boring. We didn't make it to the wall, but we did make $7.5 million thanks to a pinata. So let's take more money for Rob Bear. And then also Teddy Flair. I'm going to need to start making more money uh, because these upgrades are getting very expensive and I'm not making $20 million ever. Uh, KO of the Chocolate Bunny to start, so we're cruising at a pretty good speed, but I missed something kind of important there, but we'll maintain our speed. And we made it to the wall again. We just can't quite bust through that one yet. We're making no money doing it. All right, we saved up $8.2 million fairly quickly. And now I got a bunch of pinatas to open. It'll hopefully jump me even further ahead. Either big money or big deals. And there we go. We got $16.5 million. And all I want out of that for now is luck. Then we got $7 million to work with moving forward. So we'll see what kind of difference the extra luck makes. We're going to hit him with a critical hit and off we go at 250. Coming up to the final wall at a little over 200, depending on how that goes. We hit the wall. We got through it. We finally got through it. Cookinator. Oh, we found a boss who is now cooking us alive. So next, I'm very simply going to buy the Door Destroyer or maybe Pickpocket. We're going to get Pickpocket because that gets us back to Door Destroyer and everything else quicker. So then we clearly have to make it back to that boss uh, several times and hit him enough times for that to kill him. And I found the Honey Potter on this one and that's going to bring us up to over 300 for the first time. That was fun. We busted through it. 225 which is definitely very quick for this part of the map and a second honey potter at actually a really good time because this brings us a lot of speed and gives us a lot of money because we're about to hit the wall and we might hit a little bit higher than i wanted to but that's okay we still got lots of money saved up another 12.5 million dollars so we're gonna go through doors easier that'll help us both maintain speed and get through the wall at the very end so the new upgrade wasn't enough to get through this wall at low speed but it is gonna make a difference the next upgrade we're going to buy is for Dr. Wormageddon for 7.5 million. That should add money and speed. Yeah, this run might be a good one because I'm coming up to the final wall at 320. Uh, yep, busted right through that wall. And I guess speed doesn't really matter here because that happens. But this should at least be worth some money. Uh, actually a lot of money. That was worth 22 million dollars. So if I could just do that every run. I'm going to spend 14 million dollars on pure bounciness. Then let's lose less speed when hitting the ground because I do that too much. So now we'll see what kind of difference the bounciness makes and clearly some because we actually hit a new area in the first wall that's higher than we normally go. Another pinata later and we've got 75% off rocket slam. So it actually only costs uh, $3 million right now which is slightly more than we have but we'll be there soon. Broke through the final wall again to take off one sixth of his health or something should be about three more hits. But now we have extra rocket slam as well. This run, we're carrying some pretty good speed. We're going almost 300, getting close to the final wall, and taking out a lot of gummies along the way. So this is probably going to be worth a few dollars, if anything. Didn't make it through the final wall, but we did get a pinata. Come on, big money. What do we got? Well, we saved money off Flavor Master, which we can easily afford right now. Retain more speed with landing on gummy bears. That's very important to me, naturally. And the next upgrade, mostly just because I can actually afford it, one a bear, 7.5 million. Through the wall one more time, two more hits for the Cookinator. And look at these deals I just got. 75%, 75% to save 61 million here and 56 here. I probably still can't afford any of those, but the savings are great. Yeah, I'm still gonna need 40 million dollars to buy the both of them. And through the wall again, should be just one more hit before I stop killing my guys. But all these upgrades we've gotten today really are great because it's very easy, uh, as long as I don't miss my shots, to maintain my speed all the way to the end now. And we just broke through the wall, we were 300 going into it, and we killed the Cookinator, and probably also her. And we slide to a stop, and we get whatever this is. That only took forever, now we have Candyland. Okay, I finally managed to make something happen. I think I missed him, but we're into a new area. 
So this is gonna be fun. Not really sure what's in here, but I assume it's a better area for more money. We have different color gummy bears and looking at the bottom, there's only one wall and it's a little ways away still. I really hope this place gives me like millions and millions of dollars. Tens of millions of dollars would be even better. Getting closer to that wall, so it'd be nicer to see a little bit more speed than what we have. I want to be going over 200. And this thing might just get me there depending on how it spits me out at the end. Come on, do the wall. Well, we got into the wall pretty good. Before the uh, money amount, we're gonna get 3 million there and a few cool perks. We added 6 million, so we have 22 million total, which means we can afford one of our deep discounts as long as it's still there. So we're gonna retain more speed when landing on gummy bears. Because you can just never have too much speed. So even though it's a regular critical hit now, we're launching at 250. And I really hope that this place is going to be worth the money. It does seem pretty easy to maintain our speed here because we're going about 200 right now and uh, there's not really much to slow us down other than the cops. Okay, here's another good one. We hit one of the honey things right before the wall. So this is going to give us lots of speed moving forward. So we'll make it at least deep into the wall. I hope. Yep, we definitely broke a new record there. That was worth 9.2 million. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this place a lot. Oh, I made it into the clouds again. That's just very satisfying. And this was another good run. And we broke another new record thanks to those bombs. So if we're averaging $10 million a run, we're going to stack up pretty quickly in value. But we're going to take the big upgrade now because that's a $75 million upgrade. And if I hit this right, we should get a pretty good launch out of it. 173. That would be going quicker. I already forgot what the upgrade we just got was, but... We still feel like we're going pretty quick. To be honest, I don't really care what happens in this game. I just like smashing things. Wonder how fast we're going to have to go to actually get through this wall though. Because we've been hitting it pretty quick and it's hard to chew into it. Hey, look at that. We got another deal on Flavor Master. This time we saved $281 million. So all we need for that upgrade is $93 million, which we don't have. But I'm going to buy Cake Eater so we can chew through those walls better. Because as much as I enjoy this, it's going to take a long time to chew through it. But since I got another $20 million to spend, let's upgrade Punchy as Pilot. We find a lot of those. The next upgrade is going to be $155 million. And the new Punchy as Pilot gets us very high and very quick. This might be a good run because we just got the Honey Potter thing also. Which obliterates absolutely everything in a giant explosion of gummies. We're up to 315 at the max there. So we're cruising pretty good till we hit that cop. But there's another Punchy as Pilot. So let me show you what I mean with these new upgrades. They launch us way into the sky. And then we hit the wall going 270. Which definitely gets us a new record and almost some money. Now hopefully this pinata pays out. We got two, we got three million out of that, 1.1, good enough. So this individual run by itself was 21 million dollars. I mean, do I want to buy better launch cables? I guess. Then I'm also going to upgrade my prickly pear. I'm always hesitant to buy upgrades in this, but every time I have an upgrade, it always makes such a difference that I never regret it. And we made it all the way into the clouds again for the big explosion and giant speed boost. So now with just a few more pieces, we could easily be going over 300 again. And another Honey Potter, which might be my very favorite of anything, because look how quick we're going. 308. And we were just on the edge of the clouds. I thought we were going to do another meteor thing. And of course, we hit a cop just before the wall. But we still did pretty good considering. $28 million for that run. I've saved up a paltry $53 million because I just want more luck. The more luck we have, the more crap we're going to hit. The more crap we hit, the faster we go. Okay, so let's put all this newfound luck to work. I just need to make sure to actually hit him. Because we miss entirely. Outstanding. That's the kind of quality gameplay you're all here for. But that's okay. We have enough luck that I can absolutely find the stuff I need to gain the speed back. It's just going to take a minute. I did find a meteor, which kind of destroyed my punchy thing that I wanted to use, but that's okay, we'll find something else. We do have like $50 million of luck on our side, so, you know. Got a second meteor, we're going almost 300 now, right before the wall, so that luck really does pay off. Considering we had the worst start ever. Losing a bit of speed, we actually bounced under the punchy thing. But we did get a new record, considering that was a bad start. Oh, we actually made it all the way through. Well, that's fun. I can now reconstitute my lost recipes. I don't know what that means. But I did get two cards, one of which is a good one. Peso Pals and a Chili Bomb. So for that single run, $35 million. So it does pay to be lucky. So I guess once we get enough recipe pieces, we can make other things. I think the only logical thing to do now is add more explosives to our luck. And hopefully this is a good idea. Why did the gummy bears change color? Is it because I made it to the end? Now we're getting somewhere. We weren't picking up much speed, but as soon as we did that, now we're moving. Not going as quick as I would like, but we're about at the wall, so 
Let's blast all the way through. Nope, this is a big wall. Luckily, we did earn $72 million for that, so that's a lot of money. So obviously, extra bounciness is for us. All right, I get a good feeling about this run. So as long as we get him KO'd, we're going to have a great start. 282. So hopefully, we can carry this kind of speed into the end that we're going to jump into orbit just using this thing. Or pretty close. And we hooked another one, but then we hit a key in a chest, which is also pretty good because this gives me money and speed. And those are two of my favorite things. I'm definitely going to need more max speed. I just hit a cop, but we've been going 300 for pretty much this entire run. And we hit a meteor, so we're back up to 291. I think this is also going to be a fairly valuable run. And we might be back into the clouds. Well, it was very close. Either way, we're still going 300. And we're about to hit the wall. I think we hit a cop just below we got there. Did I just say just below we got there? I'm clearly getting tired. Anyways, I suspect this is going to be a pretty valuable run. There's $77 million. We have $125 million to spend on useless crap next time.